Hey guys, and welcome back to XCOM. When we last left off, uh, we were engaging an underwater, a small underwater USA that we had just shot down. And we have the technology to utterly ruin these guys, which is nice. So what are we looking at here? Not bad. Okay, let's get someone out to have a quick peek. I've got someone armed with the um, Disruptor Pulse Launcher. This is game over, this weapon. This this is a terrifying weapon system. And we are going to employ it wherever we need. Because it is wonderful. Definitely not much going on out here yet. But uh, let's move you there. So you're ready to launch. Nice. Okay. Let's get you out as well. Let's get you kind of down here. And you ready. Okay. How much? You can still move. Okay. Mm, nothing yet. I mean, we can use the tank as bait. The tank is totally... Um, obsolete really uh, we need our vehicle technology to start ramping up and catching up with our soldiers technology which is kind of end game now and that end game tech seems to have come pretty quickly I might have to add as well All right, let's get everyone stacked and ready to move waste as few TUs as possible at the start of next turn Oh, there's. Oh, hello, you naughty little sausage. Now, was there someone else up here? I don't know. Cobe, I'm going to need you. Let's chill back here, mate. All right. You sit there and think about things. And you, you're going to explore into the darkness. Because I don't care too much about you taking rounds, to be honest. Um, you're a machine and you're replaceable. I mean, technically our dudes are replaceable as well, but a good soldier is worth 100 tanks, literally. All right, let's get these guys up. All right, you're out of TUs. Literally just standing up and taking off. Um, used all of your resources, all of your turn units. Um, I want you over here. In fact, H. No, H, you can stay there covering that area. I want you to have some backup. This dude can just stay there. Because he has like his beastly rocket launcher. You can stay there. Don't need to worry too much about ducking anymore either. Not with our technology level. Okay, not enough time units. Ooh. Who was hit? You. You were just like, fuck that noise. Your green shit just tickles, bro. Nice. That's what we like. Where are you? There you are. There you are! Right. 28 for a snapshot. Melt his ass. Not enough time units. Not enough time units. Oh, right. Right, 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 right. Um, you can give me a snapshot. No. You can't now. Put around on him. That was not good. Um, who else can fire? You. Aim shot, eighty percent. Make it happen. Uh, fine. You know what? Last resort. Uh, launch torpedo. So we've got to go. Boop. 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 
right in his ass. Firewood ready. Ooh. Yep. Now, fella, you just wreck some shit. Ooh. Who got hit? H. Oof. H just took some pain to the face. Bring him down, buddy. 72% shot. Oh, H. H. <sighs> okay, can we? Snapshot. Oh, it's good. Yeah, it's good. It's good. All right. Not bad. So, you. Let's get you moving up. Cobe. There we go. You can provide a little bit of overwatch to the main ship. Now we've blown away in. Actually. You can stand there. We can get you moving in as well. To cover that area. Cool. Okay, now our tank can keep sweeping. This map is huge. Oh, okay, that's the end. <laughs> this map is huge. Oh, right. Oh. Uh, kind of don't want to use that weapon again if I don't have to. I wonder if there's any left inside. 80% chance. Can you even see that from there? Yeah, you can. Oh, my God. MVP. MVP. Uh, <laughs> Yo, Gendro. NPC, uh, uh, MVP, I should say. Oh, hello. Can anyone see him? Yeah, you can. He's got a vibroblade, so that's not really too much to worry about. Oh. Hey, not bad. Not bad at all. We got a live alien as well, of course. Uh, iron beam accelerators, magnetic navigation, nice. Wow, we got the zoo bite as well. Excellent. That we really need. And the aquaplastics as well. Rating okay. Okay, that was flawless. H didn't get, oh. H didn't get anything for that, but hey. That's fine. And we used, yeah, thermal shock bomb and disruptor ammo. That's fine. Uh, we need to start thinking about taking out the alien base, I think. But before we kind of do that, I want to have um, better tanks. I really do. I'm getting a little bit concerned about the Terrasite turning up as well. Uh, oh, we got the Tazoth corpse. Um, dissection revealed a cybernetic organism um, possessed of strange power. Inside the body cavity is a small power unit, but no identifiable organs. Ooh. The power is transmitted throughout the body by bioelectric transmission systems. The whole body locks bones or any other supporting structure. Once dead, the power stops and the creature becomes a lifeless ragdoll of oozing alien flesh and fluids. Oof. The only other internal construction is a pair of ceramic cells, uh, which, if energized, briefly revive the creature. Ooh. That's concerning. Hmm. Yeah, so they're basically. Oof. So it's totally cybernetic. Poor bastards. Uh, new project. Let's go for. Uh, we could go for the transmission resolver, I suppose. Or PWT cannon. Let's go for the transmission resolver. That would be quite nice, to be honest. Yeah, so, ooh, more technicians. Go to base, XCOM R&D, uh, manufacture. We are on R&D, aren't we? Yeah, manufacture. No, manufacture, not transfer. New production. And we are going to produce, of course, particle disturbance. Why can't we do that? Oh, workspace available. Ah, right, yeah. We've got no workshop there yet. That's a kick in the knickers. Um, how base information. So, 
we've we need more living quarters as well okay so uh build facilities living quarters done all right that's fine we've oh excellent Oh shit. The Committee of Funding Organization is very pleased with your excellent progress. Keep up the good work. The funding organization is not happy with your financial position. You must reduce your debts below 1 million or the XCOM will be terminated. Wow, we're having some serious financial issues here. Yeah, basically we're we're getting like 7.7 .7 million a month income. But our maintenance is 10.2 million. Um, but our monthly rating is excellent. So uh, research complete the transmission resolver. I mean, eventually we'll be able to sell all of our, well, sack all of our scientists. Um, because there would be no more research left. Which will save us a ton of cash. Uh, most of our money is going in uh, payroll at the moment. Alien Communications utilize the molecular control implant network that aliens have built up. The transmission resolver facility intercepts the alien sub transmissions and decodes the information. This will show us the type of alien sub, the alien race, and the type of activity that is occurring. These are really nice, but they are very expensive. As we can see, we can now research alien sub construction. So guess what we're going to do, kids? We are going to go for alien sub construction. Because I think that will allow us to get better tanks. And I want better tanks. Um, okay, so what we're going to do now. Uh, we need to sell sack to get ourselves back out of the brink of uh, financial catastrophe. Um, let's sell the blaster rifles. Might have to sell all of this, yeah, just to, <laughs> just to, mm. vibro blade, thermic lance, heavy thermic lance. I don't. I think we actually have to research these. Maybe I'm not sure. I can't remember. Uh, Tazith corpse. We don't need anymore. I can't remember who researched and who we haven't actually. Aquaplastics. Oh, wait. Which shit, which place is this? Yeah, this is the wrong place. We need to keep, we need to keep that. <laughs> you can't sell the weapons. We can sell the blaster rifles and all that kind of stuff. Sell sack, that's fine. Yeah, we need to uh, sell sack from here. That makes more sense. I was like, what the hell is this? Why do we not have anything? Sonic cannons, Sonic blaster rifles, get them out of here. Um, we want those. Sonic pulses, we've got lots of Zerbite. Um, Sonic cannon, we definitely don't need all of those. Uh, I don't really want to sell the ammo for them. We don't need extra clips though. Not yet, we will we, we just get more of these as time goes on. We just will, that's how it works. Um, vibro blades, Gilman corpses. We don't need that many of those. We can get rid of these. Alien subconstruction, alien learning arrays, iron armor. Oh, we've got all that iron armor as well. But we'll keep that for emergencies. Okay, sell sack. So there, we're back. It's, that's how easy it is to get back into the. Uh, into the black. Um, start production. Get everybody on these, and we are just going to crack these out. So, um, okay, okay, okay. Now we're back. Ah, uh, alien activity detected. Uh, artifact site. Ooh, 
artifact sites are rather horrendous from what I can remember. Um, equip sub, Triton. Let's get all of this stuff on board. Thermal shock launcher. Uh, disruptor pulse ammo. Okay, we actually have a lot of disruptor pulse rounds. That's quite nice. Um, we don't need that many launchers, to be honest. We'll get all the ammunition on board, because why not? Um, chemical flares we are going to need. I think this is going to be in the dark. Yeah. Uh, wounded. All right, you get on board. Has everyone got armor? Yeah, everyone's got armor. You're wounded. How long are you wounded for? Six days, that's not terrible. 14 days, that's not terrible either. Okay, that's fine. Okay, sure. Um, right then. Cool. Um, we have to do these. We, we, mm, we don't have a choice. Okay, so let's go to the artifact site. But at least we've got our manufacturing going again. So that's something. We're now plussing money. Oh, shit. Shit. Okay. Alien contact site mission. Site one. This mission is a raid. Oh, no. There's two levels on this. This mission is a raid on a freshly activated alien communication site. There are two levels to the site. The seabed with its alien pyramids and a hidden alien complex. Get all of the Aquanauts to the entrance of the complex and click the abort mission to proceed. To quit, place Aquanauts in the flying sub and click on the abort mission icon. Oh, hell. I want someone else to be rolling with one of these. Because these places are terrifying. Oh no. You're no good. You can't have one. Your strength is way too low. Well, you can have that back then. Come on. There we go. Alright, so you can have that. You can have a couple of charges with that. Have some nades. We are going to want people with these. Um, do you have another nade? Yeah. Right, you're good. Kind of. You're good, but I want you to have these. Again, yep, you need some lights. This could go horribly wrong. I'm actually quite concerned about this, to be honest, because... Oh, you can hold lots. These missions just straight up are not fun. Yeah, there we go. Um, what else? You can have a couple. You can have a couple. Oh, you've got a good weight. I don't really know if I want two of these weapons. But then I come back to my senses and say, yeah, I want two of these weapons. I don't like using the ammo for them because the ammo is so expensive to produce. Oh, that's perfect. Um, okay, that's fine. You can't, you're not holding any extra ammo, though. Bearing in mind, this is a two part mission really want you to carry extra ammo what have you got uh, you've got some spare weight some spare tonnage there we go you definitely need more ammo in fact you're well this weapon's quite useful because it's area effect but we don't have a lot of ammo for that left anymore and I'm not gonna waste my time producing more for it her weight limit is quite good. So, sh uh, 
Yeah. Yeah. Just give her some lights. Okay. Hey guys, sorry about that. Um, I had a bit of an issue where the sound stopped working and then my computer screen went black. So we're going to have to retry that one again. Um, <laughs> which, eh, I don't know. I don't mind too much because we kind of were getting wiped. So that's, that's kind of fine. Anyway, let's start that again. These places are horrible. And, oh man. I do not like these missions. One iota. So we're kind of going to have to be sly here, I think. And use every kind of weapon we have at our disposal. Because there is a new type of alien here. A new type of alien which really will dominate us and it's absolutely terrifying and it's it's a really unfair alien um, think of the chrysalids from the original game uh, that zombify your men and armor doesn't protect you armor is a hundred percent ineffective against them they're very weak, luckily. They're very weak. But... Oofed, yeah. I am really quite concerned about this, to be honest. Oh god, there's one. Wait! Okay. We actually baited him out. One of these things. These things suck so hard. They hide around corners. They can move for miles. And your men have no defense against them at all. They will kill your men in one hit. And there is absolutely nothing you can do about it. Let's get you out, I guess. I, we've just got to get very lucky here. That will do. That will do. If there is any more of them, we are screwed. Big time. That's not an exaggeration either. They have so many turn units. It's quite frankly ridiculous. They can scale the map. With ease. Who can you see? What can you see? You can see a Tazuth. Alright. Well. We really only have one answer to that at this stage. You're there. Uh, I think that killed a lot of them. Not enough time yet, so that's fine. Yes. I think that did more damage than, than I thought it would. Oh, you know, it's funny, this game. It makes me so nervous about clicking end turn. I don't even know how long we've got left to record, actually. Oh, we were about three turns in, I think before my computer crashed. Well, it didn't crash, it just black screened. Kind of weird. This computer does that, and it's also developed another interesting fault that I love. When I turn it on, it won't boot up. So it'll boot to a certain part, and then throw out some kind of error message, and I have to reset it. 
And I always have to reset it once. And once it's been reset, it's fine. It's happy. That's really bizarre. I cannot wait until I've got my new computer built. So the only real way we can counter those aliens, those uh, brains, is by moving in pairs and moving very slowly. Now, our heavy artillery guys... Oh, yeah, so we've got an aquatoid there. <sighs> That's fine. You can reload. Let's get you moving. Oh, see, what makes me nervous is there could well be a tentacuant or whatever they're called in there. There could be. You can't hit that, can you? Oh, man. Look at them all. Look at them all. Look at them all. That was kind of useless and pathetic. We could... What we could do... We could launch around in there. He's only armed with a melee weapon, which is kind of fine. I think we're going to use a lot more of these torpedoes than I had originally intended. But that's fine. I would rather use... I don't think we're going to be able to get past him. We'll try. Okay, that kind of did nothing. Yeah. Okay. Let's get you to fire yours as well. Not enough to use to launch. Okay. We need loads of people on Overwatch. Essentially. And we want people high enough so that grenades... So they're out of the range of grenades. But we also want them high enough. And grouped together enough. Where. Those brains aren't going to be a risk. Now you two who are armed with. The nukes. Team nuke. Actually, you guys stay in the boat. I want you to have maximum turn units next turn. <sighs> Come on. Um, please don't shoot the tank, guys. Yes! Solid kill. Solid kill. Nice. Right. Take off. Now, those tend to cute brain things. I'm not really sure how you pronounce their name, to be honest. Uh, ouch. They generally won't show their faces until they know that they can get your men. Miss. Which is part of the problem why they're pretty much always... A guaranteed kill because they won't attack until they know they can get your men they have a lot of turn units he's only unconscious but that's fine right you're on overwatch get you further higher than that because I think um, I think the grenades you're out of TUs that's fine I think the grenades have an explosion radius of one um, tile above you. It's something like that. I want you guys also up in the air. I don't want you moving anywhere, but I want you up in the air. Like so. That's fine. Now, who are you? Okay, let's start moving these guys forwards. Couple of tiles at a time. Definitely want everybody to be reserved for snap. That is just a re requirement. 
to get you guys out of the boat. How big are these maps, actually? Okay, then, I mean, yeah, it's not huge. It's big enough, but it's it's not huge. Right. Fine. Let's creep everybody forwards. As long as they've all got enough to use to take a snapshot, if needed. It's another Tazu. Please don't destroy my tank. Oh. I totally forgot about those things. What condition? Oh, yeah. What condition is the tank in? That's prime location. Uh, yeah, tank has been hit. Like, it's taken some damage, which is fine. Um, not a bad place to launch a missile, to be honest. Not a bad place at all. Yes, maybe. Okay. Okay. Oh, no. What am I doing? There we go. Yeah, fire. Oh. That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad at all. If we have to manufacture more ammo for this, then that's what we have to do. It's that simple. You're gonna have that. Yeah, it's not gonna leave you with a lot of units, but <laughs> nice. Okay, this is cool. Yes, panic, panic, you fools! Yes, <laughs> yes, they're on the back foot now. Okay, um, they should have dropped their weapons because of this. Which is exactly what we want, obviously. Um, okay, so that's the edge of the map there. Uh, and with that, guys, I think I'm going to end this video. Okay, we've got one that's gone berserk. Aquatoids. And we've just lost our support vehicle. Well, shit. Um, that's fine. That's fine. Um, move up to the next level. We've got that area locked down. Everybody is going to be in pairs. Now, luckily, they are panicking, which means they're dropping their, their weapons. Which is probably the best thing that we could ask for right here. And the only thing that's really worrying me, like I said, is those tentacoolants. But as long as we have enough people on Overwatch, we shouldn't have huge amounts to worry about. Let's get two groups, or let's get three groups of troopers moving up. There's still a lot of aliens, though. But... Oh, no. It is nice to go for a wipe. This is like how addictive this game is. It's like one more turn, one more turn, one more turn. I really need to end the video, but one more turn, one more turn. Ah. <sighs> And I must admit, I, I never got this um, feeling, this hook, from the new games. It didn't have the same... Yeah, look, there's weapons drops everywhere. And I do want to go for a, a wipe, if I can, to actually completely wipe the aliens out. Because you get a lot more stuff if you do it that way. You get all their equipment. Alright. Trouble is, they're all hiding now, aren't they? There's no point in hiding. 
Anyway, guys, I really am going to end this video here. Otherwise, we're going to be going for ages. So thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.